Ooh, I even got the audio working on the first try. That is exciting. And I see my big giant head. It looks like we have a stream. Hi everybody, it's Big Ed Mustafa. Welcome to Adventures After Mark Dark. Adventures After Mark. I don't know who Mark is, but if he was streaming before, I'm glad to be streaming after. Anyway, it's Adventures After Dark. I might be a little punchy, because, you know, it's been a long week. That's okay. I've got an ice cold venom that I'll probably be chasing with the Coke Zero Chaser. We will start imbibing the caffeine immediately and try to wake me up. Uh, yeah. We're live. We're on Crick Hollow. We are going to continue the adventures of Jasco in Everswim. Bacchus may show up. Bacchus may not. Just depends on whether or not the Australians have cut off his electricity in South Africa. Antler checking in. Antler, are you watching the stream on your brand new PC, buddy? Do you have it all set up and running? And he's loving it, he says. That is good news. So we may as well dive right in with task item turn-ins. They're good and good for you. And I am now a Warden of Anuminous, meaning I have ma reached maximum rep in uh, Evendim. So I've been turning in some of the same task items to Thorin's Hall. Because, of course, you want to get kindred with Thorin's Hall before you have to head to Moria. And that way you can be on a prized Thorin's Hall goat when you go. It's a happy thing. So what do we have? New sword sheaths. Fine skin and fine fur. Sounds like a good place to start. Fine skin. New sword sheaths. We'll turn one in. See if that pops the task at hand. I believe it did. We can get that started. You always have to watch for that, because if you already have rings up, uh, you won't necessarily notice that it popped up another option. So, do that first task item turn in, and then go check your quest rings again. Make sure you don't miss out on getting the task at hand started. If you craft it all, I suppose if you don't craft, there's no point in worrying about that either. But who wouldn't craft? That's just crazy talk. Broken long swords, fine fur, fine skin. That should be four, five, and six. Which means I should be able to turn in two more. So we'll do fine fur and fine skin again. Thorns Hall. The nice part about doing it at the task collection boards in the housing area, you get to pick who you want the rep to go to. And that should be task limit reached. I'm at 8 of 8. And why do we do our task item turn in Zantler? So we can get experience points, item experience points, war steed experience points. We can earn titles. We can earn reputation points. We can earn cosmetics, and mostly it helps get crap out of our bags, which is very important. It's way better than just vendoring the stuff. 
vendoring the stuff just gives you some silver. It's not even very exciting. Alright, task items out of the way. And more pack space, exactly right. We've already completed one of the five tedments. Thou shalt fish, thou shalt craft, thou shalt do thy task item turn-ins, thou shalt manage thy inventory, thou shalt eat on camera. If you're streaming Lotro, you have to do those five every day. And if there's a, a sixth one that's kind of unofficial, it's probably fireworks related. Do I have any fireworks on me? I don't know that I do. That's interesting. Oh, well. Good. Well, I don't have to worry about shooting off fireworks because that's just fun. Uh, Egarthur says, and the weekly for the auto crit crafting item. That is always a good thing also. If you get a nice collection of those, you can basically be guaranteed to always have critical success crafting. It's a good thing. So I'm a little bit torn from a reputation standpoint. I don't really need to continue in Evenden. And we were working quests in Ostfarad. So let's see what I have for quests, I guess. Um, let me get a vanilla nitro and that'll be a sixth commandment. No, you can't make vanilla nitro a commandment. Coke Zero, yes. Venom, maybe. Venom's got vitamins in it. It's good for me. But if you're drinking the Pepsi Nitro Antler, that's okay. That just means more Coke Zero for me. So when I run out of the Venom, I do have a Coke Zero set aside. Uh, my nephew has Fridays and Saturdays off, so I went and scooped him up when I got done visiting Mrs. Mustafa. And we spent a lot of time and effort tonight moving her clothes. And I have more clothes of hers to move, but we moved a mountain of her clothes today. We don't have a lot of her clothes left to move, but it's, yeah. Man, has that been a Herculean effort. I was telling everybody a few days ago about throwing out her shoes. She probably had, I don't know, 100 pair, 120 pair of shoes. And of course now she's missing two toes and can't really wear the left shoe for any of them. But her foot doctor just wants her wearing the uh, special shoes that he ordered for her. And when I was cleaning off the refrigerator and moving all of our pictures and refrigerator magnets and stuff, her foot doctor, Dr. Zimmerman, had wrote her a note. Just says, please wear the shoes, Dr. Z. <laughs> and I moved that over to the new fridge. Bacchus says, evening, Ed. How are you doing? I'm good, Bacchus. How are you? Are you with power? Ski checking in. Hi, Ski. How are you? I've got to ask, Ski, what have you been watching lately? Power just came back on. Logging into Crick Hollow now. Awesome. Be glad to have the company. Ski frequently contributes over on my Discord, especially the so what are you what have you been watching lately board where we talk about movies and TV shows? Ski watches some interesting stuff. Antler is just uh reveling in the glory of his new PC. Pretty excited about that. He's got a shiny new RTX 3060 and a bunch of new hardware. Antler's going to be all set when they finally add ray tracing to Lotro. It's going to be very exciting.
I have to finish Picard Season 3, finish Death in Paradise and Beyond Paradise. Been staring at live streams of warm beaches, pretending I am on a warm ocean beach. Yeah, around here, boy, early March and, and February in particular, I start watching golf on TV just so I can see green grass. Uh, Toffee Swirl checking in. Hi, Toffee Swirl. Baca says, I went and spent more money myself yesterday morning. About a grand or so. Bought a pair of rudder pedals, a throttle, and a desk mount, plus the shipping. Wow, you are decked out. Toffee Swirl says, Picard Season 3 was the best season. Loved it. I had talked previously about how I had decided to skip Season 8 of Game of Thrones because uh, nobody I talked to liked it at all. Uh, but I've gone ahead and decided to finally watch it. So Disc 2 of Season 8 showed up today. I am the last uh, Blu-ray subscriber that Netflix has, apparently. They're getting ready to shutter the disc uh, rental service. I have both uh, streaming and disc rental because I don't want to have 45 different streaming services. And with very few exceptions, if I can't stream it from Netflix, I can order the discs. There's some stuff. I The submarine movie Tom Hanks was in for Apple TV, Greyhound. You can't get it on disc. It's not available anywhere else. Uh, Apple likes to keep some of their exclusives exclusive. But if they publish it on, on DVD, they can't block in, in Netflix from being able to rent it. Uh, they have the same rights as any other video store. Um, but now that they're canceling the disc rental, it's I'll have to rethink what I'm doing. Tomorrow night, I am probably going to rent the D&D movie off of Amazon and watch it. Oh, is that available for streaming already? I never made it out to the theater to catch it. I wanted to see it on the big screen. Looks like it should be fun. Ygarthur says NVIDIA Remix can supposedly reconstitute old games with ray tracing and DLSS. I've downloaded it, but haven't set it up yet for Lotro. Oh, cool. Ygarthur, I'd very much like to hear how that turns out for you. Let me know. Yep, just came out yesterday. My friends loved it, and one was very skeptical going in. They've made a couple of Dungeons & Dragons movies in the past, and they weren't particularly good. But I figured with Chris Pine, and they spent some money on it, and... Yeah, it's, you know... And if you think about it, a Dungeons & Dragons movie's not really that different from a lot of the superhero movies. You've got, you know, CGI monsters and CGI superheroes, and... I mean, let's face it, Doctor Strange is a sorcerer, you know. They can do all of those special effects. Why not do it for a Dungeons & Dragons movie? Just looked like it was a good time. Let me see while I'm waiting for Bacchus if I can get some of these uh, anniversary invite things. Might I take a moment of your time? I think I got some really cool Warsteed Cosmetics doing this a year or two ago on my main account. Got one. And then if you're not particularly good at running those down, you can find them just sort of posted and hanging out different places. I think that dude just picked one up, actually. So this doesn't always seem like a particularly fruitful use of your time, but once in a while they'll surprise you with some good rewards. I like the Worsteed cosmetic set and the fact that I didn't have to really pay for it is a bonus. There's one. Yep, I probably need to be on the other side of this wall. Oh, you just ran past me? That's funny. Do I need to get up on the wall? Come on. Oh, I was on the wall. 
That was not on the wall. The same problem in Apex Legends. Some of the legends don't climb very well. Looking at you, Lifeline. Zinger checking in. Hi, Zinger. Just missed it. Got it. Unwanted messages can be sold. That must have been another unwanted message. Yep, I got two of them now. Posted bill. Stop stealing my envelopes. If you can grab it faster than I can, it's your envelope. That's what playing Apex does for me. I'm always coiled up and ready to spring like a jungle cat. It could be true, you don't know. third unwanted message. See, I'm trying to help you out, Egarthur. I'm picking up all of the unwanted messages that you didn't want to collect in the first place. Hello? How are you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? Not too bad. Not too bad, thanks. Gratified to see that you're still alive and Mrs. M didn't murder you for throwing away all her shoes. She all doesn't know how much of her stuff I've thrown away yet. <laughs> Besides, now that we've moved all of her clothing, I can just point to this large hall closet that's literally just stuffed from floor to ceiling and go, they're probably in there somewhere, and then dare her to go try to search through there to find stuff. So <laughs> we've got a pretty good out now. And I did some more work on cleaning out the kitchen. I, do for you? I had mentioned we had some uh, wedding gifts I found in the back of the hall closet that I didn't know we had, including a yep. brand new oyster blender that was still in the shrink wrap from 20 years ago. Um, above our refrigerator, we had a, a hand mixer. And I think one year for Thanksgiving, we had family over. And I was like, I'll go make some fresh whipped cream for the pumpkin pie. She was like, how are you going to do that? Whisk it by hand? I'm like, no, I'll use the hand mixer. We don't have a hand mixer. I'm like, yeah, let me show you. I went and got it. I knew it was above the refrigerator, and she'd forgotten about it. It's the only time we've ever used it. Apparently, I cleaned it, put everything back in the bags, and it's still, like, brand new back in the original box. Uh, <laughs> There's probably some uh, reasonable antiques in there that you could sell for decent money. Yeah, we finally threw out all of our VHS tapes. I still have a sharp forehead hi-fi VCR that still works, as far as I know. Haven't tried to use it in a <laughs> long time. Uh, Mrs. M used to like to just tape network TV. And then if she had a day off or was homesick, she'd sit and watch a bunch of her shows that she recorded back in the day. But as I was going through them, it was like, We've got Columbo DVDs, Quincy DVDs, Murder, She Wrote DVDs. It's like, yeah, she doesn't need these old videotapes anymore. Nah. And a bit risque for Lotro Stream, but I'm going to show it off anyway. A very fine copy of uh, the 
Ginger Spice Playboy issue. This is from 1998. Oh wow! You need <laughs> to scan is, that. <laughs> yeah, this has been this has been tucked away in a drawer here at home for a long time. I was just laughing. It was like Dilbert speaks. Scott Adams interviewed Ariana Huffington on Bill Clinton. It's like nobody ever <laughs> bought this to read the article. Sorry. Unlikely, yeah. and it's funny. Um, you know, I, I was seeing Ginger, uh, what's it, Jerry Halliwell? Yeah. On that uh, F1 thing that she's doing these days because she's married to the guy who runs one of the teams. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's, uh, what uh, What the hell is that show called? It's incredibly popular. Um, it's on Netflix. You've probably seen it. Drive to Live? Drive to Live. There we go. There you go. I haven't actually watched it. I heard it's outstanding. It's, well, Drive, uh, drive to Survive. There we go. Oh, okay. Drivers, managers, and teams owners. Yeah. She's married to... Well, let's have a look. I think it's the, the guy who runs the Red Bull team. Okay. Uh, Not too Christian surprisingly. Warner. Yeah, Principal Red Bull. Okay. Yeah, I was always a big fan of the Red Bull Air Races. I just thought that was fascinating to watch. I spent hours and hours watching those. A lot of the uh, aerobatic models we fly are basically scale models of the Red Bull Air Race planes. The Edge 540 and the uh, Extra 330 and the MXS and... In fact, you can get some of the models with Red Bull trim schemes on them. Uh, Captain Zoid Merica's brother-in-law was flying a Red Bull-themed uh, Sukhoi mm -hmm. when he collided with another pilot and the news crew caught it on the video when they were filming the Labor Day Air Show last year. Oh, uh, yeah, I think I remember you mentioning that. Oh, excuse me. Bless you. Thank you. Right, I can actually sort of breathe and see again now. That's good. Singer says, lots of those on eBay. Unfortunately, a lot harder to sell magazines these days because they can't be sent media mail. Wow, hope you can edit that out. What am I editing out? The cover of a magazine? If I, I get in trouble for up. showing that, I would, I would be... Not that concerned about getting kicked off of Lotro stream. It's like, oh, okay. Me showing the cover of a Playboy magazine is too upsetting for people. It's like, yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> and frankly, if that was the worst thing I'd ever done on Lotro stream, I'd, I'd feel pretty good about life. Uh, unfortunately, it's not. So technically, oh, the title but... does say After Dark. You know, what's funny about that ski is I kind of tongue-in-cheek stole that from Playboy. Playboy used to have a TV show uh, ages ago. I mean, probably, what was it, late 50s, early 60s maybe, called Playboy After Dark, and it was on network TV, and it would just be like Hugh hanging out and talking to like jazz musicians and authors and stuff. It was just basically a talk show. There was nothing After Dark about it. So I just kind of liked the name because it was like, eh, I'm going to be streaming Friday nights at 9. We'll just call it Adventures After Dark. So it's kind of the same thing. There's not anything racy or controversial going on here. It just takes place at night. So hence the name. Yeah, well, if Cord hasn't fired you for uh, having me with a lung from time to time, then I'm sure you should be all right. Well... I have the advantage of nobody at Standing Stone knowing that I actually stream on Friday nights, so <laughs> that helps. Fortunately, the last thing anybody who works there wants to do on Friday night when they get off of work is watch a Lotro stream, so I think I'm safe. Yeah, the cover did not show anything. Plus, King Charles is getting coronated tomorrow. It's a British cover. I literally showed this off just to celebrate the coronation. That's that's what it's there for. It just it makes you think, hail Britannia. That's all. <laughs> so. Well, 
Well, I was kind of thinking out loud before you popped on. Um, yeah, is it? What I like don't. Do? I don't know if I need to do anything else in Evendim. Is there any value to going back out there and continuing to grind? Uh, did we finish the reputation? I have. I'm a warden of Anuminus. I don't know uh, if you got there or not. Check your rep. No, I doubt it, but I mean, that's also no reason for you to... I'm not opposed back. to going back out there if you want to finish it up. It's just, I'm just asking the question. If the answer is, is Bacchus wants to get his character's rep finished up, or we want to go do Slayer Deeds, or, yeah, wiping out your deed log antler is absolutely right. Singer says Sporty Spice is the best singer. Uh, let's have a look. I do have a reasonable number of, uh, of deeds left there, but I mean, it's also, do you want to spend <laughs> two hours running around killing Kagrin, Lymphrey, Salamanders, etc. So, yeah, I don't mind. Uh, I'm happy to move on to something else. Ski says the Spice Girls didn't sing, they do karaoke. They all don't sing, they all just do karaoke. Live music is almost dead, it's a shame. Well, hey. where would you uh, like to go if not? Evan? I don't. I don't have a plan. Maybe we could go do some stuff in the troll shaws. Yeah, That's troll on shaws level. Um, but uh, I used to make the joke ski that uh, when I got married, I woke up one day and realized I suddenly owned both of the Spice Girls albums, and Mrs. Mustafa ended up owning the entire Rolling Stones catalog, and I think she got a way better deal. So, she's had to listen to the Stones plenty of times, but I don't think we've listened to that uh, either of the Spice Girls albums the whole time we've been married, which I'm thankful for. So, well, yeah, back in back talking. in the day, Ginger Spice was a little bit like Ariana Grande. Now, uh, I don't mind watching her music videos as long as the volume's turned off. You know, it's all good. <laughs> oh, and then the other thing I found that I'd forgotten about, Mrs. Mustafa used to just love the show The Girls Next Door on E! Entertainment. It was this video log following Hugh Hefner and his three girlfriends around. And she wanted the discs for Valentine's Day. And I'm like, are you sure? And she's like, oh, yeah, I love that show. I'm like, okay. And then I bought her the, the DVD sets to the, the TV series. Well, they're unedited. So every time they showed a Playboy shoot and the Playmates were, were nude and the, they had the black bars covering them up, yeah, on the DVD set, there's no black bars. I'm like, this is what my wife wanted me to buy her for Valentine's Day? I knew there was a reason I liked her. So, <laughs> Although, in all fairness, I don't remember ever going back and watching any of those either, so... That's okay. Oh, I can travel us to Osgaruth if you'd like. Yeah, that sounds good. Why don't we head to the Troll Shaws just to mix it up a little? Like I said, I've got no problems going back to uh, Evendim. Tinnadur is my milestone set, but. Oh, yeah, I I'm... didn't get around to getting the travel skill. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm interested in heading to the Troll Shaws to get uh, crafting mats. Nothing wrong with that. Although I should check as long as we're here. Did I finish Rep with the Elgain? No, I'm a friend. I have some work to do here. But there's no platinum in uh, Ostgaruth, so we ride for the Troll Shaws. And for glory. Well, Mrs. M is getting stronger and stronger, and I made tentative plans if she's feeling up to it. Our wedding anniversary, our 20th wedding anniversary, is May 24th. 
And I told oh. her that uh, if she felt up to it, if I could arrange it, I would see about taking her out for Korean food for our anniversary. Oh, that's very nice. Like she makes it. Yeah, me too. Singer says, what level range is the angle? Like 40 to 45th? Um, I don't know. Lower, I think. How do we get a quest vector to there? Uh, what's that little camp where Elodin and Elra here are? About halfway through? Troll Shores? Oh, um... I always mix it um, up. Where are we? Thalon had? Uh, um... Thorinhead. Yeah. Thorinhead, okay. Thorin had, yeah. Thorin had, yeah. Uh, that's where you pick up the uh, the, the bridge cover that takes you down there. So I think he's about... Okay. Yeah, there we go. I thought Ginger's got it the way. Uh, I think it's a, it's 30 or 35. Hey, Garther answered first. It was a Credit to both of you. Okay. And then uh, Ski says, All positive thoughts that the two of you get to do that. Well, I've been going out and enjoying Korean food plenty of times. The only difference will be it'll cost me twice as much if I have to take Mrs. M with me. But I suppose I should treat her since it's our anniversary. Ginger says, that's okay, I'm asleep here. Well, I'm glad the Big Ed Mustafa effect is working for you, Ginger. Man, you want to talk about the Big Ed Mustafa effect? I got home and I was kind of, I did a little bit of work in the kitchen last night and got a few things cleaned up and sorted. And, and um, I went out to the flying field, it was training night. And the wind picked up. It was blowing almost 30 miles an hour, so we didn't get a lot of flying done. It was just good to be out. And I stopped and picked up tacos on the way home. And I ate three Taco Bravos from Taco John's and then promptly fell asleep in my chair. And I woke up about 11.30 and just went straight to bed. <laughs> I was just narcoleptic. We've been busy at work and busy moving and busy visiting Mrs. M and... Uh, do you want to pick up the quests here? Uh, yeah, I can't think of any reason not to. Yeah, I think we actually have to in terms of using reputation items. A scout in the North Troll Shores. Ah, we'll manage that. Two of us. You killed it! Yep. With prejudice. Extreme the version thereof. I'm okay with it as long as you stay away from my ore. Uh, I haven't unlocked that tier yet. So I'll grab the wood, and you can have the uh, you can have the the rocks. Mm, I'd rather you didn't. I only like you as a friend. Wait, what are we talking about? Not that kind of wood. Oh, okay. Oh, or those kind of rocks. Somebody's clipping that and sending it to uh, Cordovan even as we speak. Quite possibly. That's okay. Yeah, my statement about not getting you kicked off uh, Lotro stream just yet may not uh, hold true by the end. That's all right. I need new tools. I've been trying to get on the official uh, Asheron's Call channel, but uh, for some reason they're not responding to my uh, messages. Uh, I don't know how to break it to you, Ed. <laughs> Is there an official Asheron's Call? <laughs> no, they shuttered the game quite yeah. a few years ago. Quite a while ago, yeah. Oh, for no good reason, the rat bastards. I never got a good explanation for why it was so important for Asheron's call to be killed. It, it was really much. weird. I, I don't, I never understood it. Every other MMO has carried on. 
Shadowbane, Anarchy Online, there were a lot of less popular games that are still around, and it's like, why was it so important for Asheron's Call to be murdered? Antler says, Bacchus, take all the ore. Is Meridian 59 I, um, still around? I don't know, Mr. Krista. Probably. Fortunately, Antler, I haven't got the necessary skill. I'm still stuck on um, uh, Barrow Iron on this one. New deeds in the wilderness. Might go in the right way. Uh, possibly. There's a camp right over here. Um. Oh, here it is. This is the sights of the angle. I'm like, I don't remember a camp being over here. That's because it's new. Oh, okay. Yeah, we've gotten a little ahead of ourselves, I think. Uh, something's chasing me. That's really more of a you problem than an us problem. New D, no, he's Slayer of the here. Angle. Okay. Uh, well, let's grab the uh, Stable Master while we're here. No, I already did that. Just want to check my quest log. I'm at 35 of 43. So we kind of need to decide angle or troll shaws. I don't think we can pick up everything for both. Well, how many times have you done troll shaws? Uh, once or twice. How many times have you done the angle? Uh, never. Uh, should that affect into your thinking or not? Well, it depends on whether or not we're going to kick off a new group on Wednesdays. Hey. So I would think if we get a new starter group on Wednesdays like we've been talking about, then it's highly likely we'll want to go do the Yondershire and the Angle and... Work up through Swan Fleet, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I know Rem is very anxious to swim his way to Swanfleet again. He had a super good time with that last time. <laughs> it's character building for him. Yeah, exactly. Now entering the angle. All right, let's head back to uh, the Troll Shaws for now. Not that we won't explore the angle, but... Uh, Perhaps not tonight. Eh, maybe tonight. We'll see. But let's at least get the two quests we picked up turned in. And then if we want, we can swing back to here. I'm a little disoriented. I was just trying to get out of the boars area. Uh, well, we do still need a... Oh, no, we've killed all the boars we need. We need two more yeah. cave claws. I think I turned west at eight, East St. Louis. Bugs Bunny had that problem a lot, too. There's... One cave claw. Uh, yeah, thanks. It's just a case of uh, time. When I typically play um, Lotra, I'm typically on Evernight, so these characters get neglected on Crick Hollow. But if we are going to start a new group and we do end up... Well, my suggestion is we use these characters on this server. Uh, then, yeah, it'll... Uh, she'll, uh, she'll get her mining up. Yeah, and Freelancer made a good point that uh, we might have a better chance of pulling in extra friends if we're on North American servers, just because of the if time we, need, we play. And if you need a body or two for um, extra to pick up, a, you know, make up a pickup group, then yeah, we'll have a much easier time finding it. You know, here in a US server, where people are active at this time. Yeah, most people aren't playing games at 4 o'clock in the morning in the, the EU. Well, they're missing the boat. Oh. I don't disagree with you. Hence, being here at 0448. <laughs> there you go. Markings upon the stone point south from the road. Okay, we're near Barakan's camp. 
haven't seen any uh, harvest flies or bats, though. I think those are a little bit further along. No, normally we've run into flies by now, but they may not be out mm. at night. Right up the hill over here. Oh, yeah, you found it. I have to mine first. I'm going oh, for I the shall. ore. I'll hit the stable monster and pick up quests in the meantime. Oh, well, Garthur mentioned he has four tunes on Crick if you need anyone. Always need somebody, egg. Yeah. Ooh, rich platinum deposit. Ooh, and a more fly hatch. Awesome. I had to murder that uh, hatch fly because he was trying to steal my platinum. Platinum is never common, and to get a rich deposit of it this early in is, is very welcome. How many pieces? Five. That's very nice. One of my complaints about the delving rewards is when you get crafting materials, you only get ferrite-based models for weapons and armor. You can't get ancient silver. You can't get platinum. It's not even an option on the uh, rewards list. And it's like, well, if you're a tinker, this is completely useless. Because the last thing you need is more gems. How come we're not at Barakan's camp? Did we go too far? Uh, you've gone too far. It's back up the hill behind you. Okay, I was following you up the hill. Did you already get the stable master? Yep. Okay. Provisioning the elves. I, th I thought I'd come and give you a hand killing uh, flies. Because you okay. are an itty bitty little thing and might need help. It's true. I'm delicate like, like a flower. That. Yeah. Yep. Uh, wrong hill. This way? I know. But there's no. more ore up here and I'm looking for more... Uh, okay. Sickle fly thingies. Well, and elk. If you ever get a chance to actually eat elk IRL, jump at it. It's one of the finest red meats on earth. Uh, well, I see Joe Rogan frequently puts pictures on his Instagram about, oh my god, this was so nice. Delicate and, it's a big and chunk delicious. Of elk. Yeah. Yeah, he's not wrong. That man eats well. He can afford to. Yep. There will be plenty of elk later. Now where the hell am I going? I think I have to go uh, down and left again. That's correct. And if you're vegan and don't eat uh, red meat at all, I highly recommend you go to an Indian restaurant and order dal makani. It's delicious. It's cooked lentils. Yeah, the, uh, the Indian cuisine has no problem giving you a fantastic dish with no meat in it. They're very good at vegetarian stuff. Very good at it. Yeah, Western diets don't really support you know, normal, traditional, you know, what we're used to eating in the West. It's like meat and two veg. But, you know, the Central Asia, South Asia, and that kind of thing, they had a lot more practice at, you know, making vegan stuff, or vegetarian stuff, rather. And making good food with it. Singer says it will take about two hours alone for anyone making a man character to adjust those bridge length and ear ratio. <laughs> oh, the nose of bridge. What do you need? What do the characters all look like? Adrian Brody by default? What's the deal? I can think of worse uh, people to look you? like. Exactly. How can I be of service? Stay a moment. Ooh, look at me. I'm known to the elves of Rivendell. Well then. So, I'll leave it up to you. I cannot pick up the search for evidence of the dwarves' location. And we can go to the angle, or we can just plow through Rivendell, or through the Trollshaws. 
I'm, I'm going to be very useful and say I really don't mind. Where's... Mm -hmm. I, I was about to say, where's my wallet? But that doesn't matter because I haven't got a coin in my wallet. No, no there you go. Um, do you have a coin handy that you can flip? Uh, oh, I'm sure there's one on the, uh, the internet. Internet coin flip. We'll leave it to Mr. Kristoff. Mr. Kristoff, should we do the troll shaws or head to the angle? Or use slash roll? Is that a thing? Okay, uh, heads of the so. troll shaws, tail the angle. Okay. Mr. Kristoff says troll shaws. Well, it came He's... up heads on my little internet time? coin flip thing, which none of you can see, so trust me. Okay, so that's also <laughs> pointing us to the troll shaws. So we'll stick with the troll shaws. Better the evil you know. We need elk, ah, we I... need... Bats, we need uh, flies. And check your bags for a boar tusk quest item. Oh, yeah. That's actually useful for a burglar. Yeah, I think you get quite a nice dagger out of it. Thank you for roasting the elk in the field. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Do you want to go stab that one? Uh, we don't need to sneak up on it. There's no pockets to pick. Oh, nice. I got a stun with the throw stone, though. Well that done. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. And then there's a rule. When you get to the troll shaws, kill every wolf. The wolf slayer deed in the troll shaws is... Uh, one of the more arduous tasks because there's not a high, high concentration of them in any one particular place. That's unfortunate. It is unfortunate. Oh. So if you want to complete that, you will spend some time out here working at it. There's a couple places where you can find a few, but there's not a ton of them and they don't respawn that fast. So we got bats started. We're almost done with elk. Out of line of sight. Darn it. Another one over there. Remember to always be addling. We can head back this way a little bit. Don't want to get too far up the road. Yeah, there we go. We're Good on the... venison. Oh, okay. I still need one on my root keeper for some reason. Okay. It didn't register for her. It's random. And, oh. They said we're not going to run out of elk anytime soon. There you go. And there's some uh, dwarf iron over here for you. Nobody can tell Gussie we were doing that. We were killing them with kindness. Kill the wolves, I'll kill the ore deposits. That sounds make like a, a good, good team. Uh, division of labor. I have finished my venom. Now, one of my problems since uh, I normally eat on camera is I'm really full. 
The nephew was over here helping me earlier, and I tend to feed the lad when I put him to work. And of all things, he wanted Chinese buffet. And I'm like, are you sure you want buffet? Oh yeah, Chinese buffets are great. So we went to the Chinese buffet for dinner. Did not sit well with that. him. It wasn't nice. It was, it wasn't terrible. That's unfortunate. But it didn't sit well with him. So he had the dubious honor of being the first person to drop a deuce in the new apartment. <laughs> he christened it. Yeah, so I got to break the news. I said, I'm going to tell your aunt. She's going to be mad at you. <laughs> she doesn't like me doing that at home. She's like, do that at work. I'm not going to lie, I much prefer to do that at work myself. Well, if you can put, do such things in, on somebody else's time and get paid for it. Why the exactly, hell that's exactly right. I'm like, I'm totally getting paid for sitting here right now. This is awesome. <laughs> Okay, we've got a Bjorning out here that we're competing for kills with, so let's try not to step on him too badly. Mm -hmm. uh, we need two more, so if we... I didn't click the quest fast back. enough, I need four more. That should have been a... What to, oh, have you not got those or those? Stars? That's as right. annoying as it can be to uh, cancel those when they fill up your log, um, I prefer to have them all to have a star. There's well, been a couple there's of a times slayer I'm... deed for trolls, so if we have to kill a couple yeah. of extra, I don't think it'll hurt anything. Yeah. Now, I've missed out on things like roaming threats and warbands and so on because I wasn't able to accept quests quick enough. So. Mm. Maybe we need to go back? There are more trolls you down want there? trolls, yep. Well, I think yeah. there probably is a uh, path up to the... Uh, uh, more dwarf iron for you over here. I will collect that dwarf iron. Hey, I've got a quiz for you, Bacchus. Mm. So, between myself, Antler, Potted Plant 402, and Mr. Kristoff, which one of these doesn't belong? Uh, I'm going to go with Potted Plant. Wrong! Antler! Everybody else was at the air show last Labor Day. <laughs> and let's never let him forget that. Exactly. Potted Plant was there. Mr. Kristoff was there. Big Ed Mustafa was emceeing. But do you think Antler showed up? No, he sat around the house doing nothing. He had the whole day off, didn't do a dang thing, lives ten minutes away from the air show and never went. Maybe I forgot to mention it before the event happened. And when is Labor Day again this year? Uh, first Monday in September, same as always. Well, there you go. Antler, make a note in your diary. Or be yep. prepared for more teasing. Well, I'm already uh, thinking I'm going to just stop by where he works and be like... Yeah, I'm Antler's best friend, and he said I could come in and eat and drink whatever I want all the time. <laughs> I think he might be too busy playing with his uh, his new PC. Exactly, he won't he won't be paying attention to even deny it. So, what do we need? A couple of bats. Couple of bats, uh, and I need couple a couple of trolls. Of trolls. Oh, there you are. Oh, and some flies. All right, let's go and see if we can you... find more trolls. I'm so thirsty. I wish I had something to drink. Yep, that'll do. 
Oh, walked myself right off that ledge. Was too I'm busy concentrating on crisp, delicious, and refreshing Coke Zero. Yeah, speaking of flying, I need to get you into DCS or something like that at some point. Or maybe some Elite Dangerous or Star Citizen. I have uh, Elite Dangerous. It's a fun game. I think I have uh, Squadrons also, which is supposed to be really good VR. Oh, yeah. Don't have a VR headset. That apparently is good. Yeah. Well, the gold standard for VR is is Elite Dangerous in terms of making you feel like you're, you know, you know it's not real, but it it feels very very convincing. All right, where are the dang trolls? Uh, Besides in chat, I mean. North, I okay. Mr. Kristoff, would you like to explain to Antler how spectacular the air show was that he missed? Did you want to tell him about the two helicopters that landed on the runway? Did you want to tell him about the two multi-thousand dollar giant scale aerobats with gasoline engines smashing into each other while the news crew filmed it? Did you want to talk about the real turbine powered jet models that we were flying? Did you want to tell him about the flying Superman that he missed? It was so spectacular it defies explanation. Exactly. You know, one of these years I'd love to talk some poor sucker into actually just filming the whole air show. Because I would love to have that to be able to show what the event actually is like. Uh, I've got trolls if you want to come on up to me. Yeah, where the hell are you? Uh, you're northeast. Alright. North I'm mostly focusing on badgering uh, Antler. But I yeah, guess we can kill some trolls too, yeah. It's important. Perfectly valid use of your time. Remind me next air show and I'll see if I can make that happen. I'd rather have you actually flying during the air show. But if you know somebody who doesn't mind handling a video camera, I'd love to get... You know, it wouldn't even have to be the whole air show we could get a couple hours of it, I think that would be great. And if we don't have video coverage of me ticking off a nine-year-old recovering from a serious illness, that would be good too. That girl did not like me threatening to eat her chickens. She was not <laughs> amused. Six of eight on trolls. Seven of eight. Eight of eight. Leveled. And ding. Congratulations. Yeah, fantastic. Now it's going to cost me more money to repair my stuff. Okay, let's quit picking on the trolls. We got to go find flies. Those are off to our east. Well, I used to know a pretty good Asian photographer, but I haven't been able to get her to do much for me lately. Well, she east has or a west? Bit, uh, uh, east. Uh, west, excuse me. Why did I get that mixed up? I don't know. You'd think, uh, given how much flying I'd be good at, you know, looking at a map and going, you know, east, west. Left, right, up, down. Well, maybe instead of buying, uh, you know, rudder pedals and, and yokes, you can invest in a Breitling watch so you can navigate better. Uh, GPS. Okay. <laughs> Although if you learn how to use the watch, you will always be able to navigate even when you have flat batteries. Exactly. There is certainly value in those skills. <clears throat> I 
All right, you're about to hit the patch on the map where it says we should find flies. Yeah, they should be up here in the hills. Canna checking in. Hello, Canna. I don't know if Canna saw my note, but I think he was mixing up The Last of Us with Among Us. Mm, that does sound right. Both terrific yeah, games. Yeah, I mean... A little different in scale, though. Let's see if I can track sickle flies. Uh, yep, you can. All right, I'm definitely following you because they are hard to find. Lead on, good sir. Oh, you want to go stab it in the kidneys, or should I just set it on fire? Just set it on fire. I kind of figured you were going to say that, so I was already winding up. <laughs> Good call. Next. Let's have a search. How many Lebethron branches do we need to slay? All of them. Uh, digger, digger, scavenger, digger, <sighs> digger, digger. No, unfortunately not within tracking range, so we're going to have to run around a little bit. All right. Yeah, you usually have to cover a little bit of ground to find them all. Yeah, excuse me. Right, oh, work was a drag today. We didn't have hardly anything going on, and it was Cinco de Mayo, which, oddly enough, is mostly a U.S. holiday. Uh, they don't actually celebrate it in Mexico. At least not very much. But Americans are always looking for an excuse to eat chips and salsa and drink margaritas. So we get excited about Cinco de Mayo here and appropriate Mexican culture. But it turns out that it's mostly to celebrate uh, uh, Mexican and Spanish victory over the French. Oh, there's and something to celebrate. But yeah, but if you think about it, I mean, the French are always surrendering and losing battles anyway. So it's really not that big of a deal to celebrate that. I mean, if you wanted well, to celebrate every French military loss, you'd be partying 365. Well, as much as that does, you know, gladden the heart of the uh, the Englishman part of me, uh, it's actually, I must say, not true. <laughs> they win a couple once in a while? They actually one of the most successful militaries in terms of the history of European military conflict. Although they do tend to lose the big stuff. Well, I always thought it'd be funny to write like a spy novel or a military adventure novel, a la Tom Clancy, where some some team gets into a real pickle and these commandos are just pinned down and it looks like they're all going to die. And then suddenly a group of French commando shows up and rescues them, but swears them to secrecy. Shh, don't tell anybody <laughs> our military is effective. We've got to keep it a secret. And then they yep. slink away. Like, there's a plot twist for you. The French saved the day. <laughs> yeah, I think a certain amount of that uh, the French are terrible at fighting meme comes at you from the resistance in the Second World War because they spent more time fighting each other than they did the Germans. Well. That's okay. They still got some good work done. Canis says today the French army is one of the strongest in Europe right now. <laughs> Sorry, Ken. Uh, what was this speech about that I gave? I could always you know, try and come up with another. You might have just meant that he missed your Australian accent and he's happy to hear it. And to think you kissed Mrs. Mustafa <laughs> with that mouth. <laughs> Only on the forehead, Jamie. lately. Yep. Such a saint of a lady and, you know, I know, she has to put up with me. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm pretty sure you're offending all Australians by, you know, suggesting that I might be one as well. Never mind, you know, what you're doing to my sensibilities. <laughs> that, however, would sort of, you know, encourage me to, like, suggest that you keep doing it. Because, you know, if you're offending Australians, you're doing something right. I very much enjoyed your map of uh, incarcerations yes. per capita. <laughs> Oh, here's a fly. Stronger than the UK. Yeah, the UK's cut back a lot. They've really cut back on defense spending in the last couple of years, since the end of the Cold War. Uh, dwarf iron up here. Although with things that are happening the way they have in uh, Eastern Europe, I think you're going to see European nations actually spending a bit, quite a bit more on defense for a while. Well, I know our previous president wasn't particularly popular in a lot of circles, but I rather enjoyed him calling out a lot of the NATO countries for not picking up their fair share of the defense spending. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, that's been ongoing for like 30, 40 years now. It's, it's been, yeah. America and the UK have been, like, holding up NATO pretty much. Everybody else is paying the club membership fees, and that's about it. Yeah. Although that said, the uh, Ukrainians are doing very well with NATO's hand-me-downs and end-of-shelf-life stock, so it looks well, like maybe people were spending as much as they needed to. Yeah, we've talked about it a little bit privately. I had mm. to wonder aloud if maybe the Russians weren't more of a paper tiger. And we tend to prop them up so that uh, we can justify our exorbitant defense spending. Uh, that's always a possibility. But, you know, when you, they've got You assured nukes, me that they're a real threat, so we need to keep spending the money. I certainly believed they were based on, you know, the data at hand. But it's also, it looks like they're deliberately doing every single thing wrong that they can. What do you need? It's like six months from now, they're going to turn around and say, right, did everybody spot the deliberate mistakes? Well, it, it kind of makes you wonder, you know, if China makes a move on Taiwan and we end up just wrecking them, it'll be like, why are we spending so much money? <laughs> well, currently, the... If we can, well, I don't know if it's... The Taiwanese would probably quite happily manage preventing a Chinese invasion by themselves without anybody's help. That would uh, be the a Chinese happy thing. Do, yeah, the, the, the Chinese would do a hell of a lot of damage with airstrikes and missiles and that kind of thing, but in terms of successfully getting boots on the ground, no. Uh, paratroopers maybe, but good luck <laughs> getting you know much done with that without a heavy support that's not going to get there because it's all going to be sitting at the bottom of the Formosa Strait. Hopefully. Well, hopefully it doesn't well, come to that. Hopefully it doesn't come to that, yeah. Yeah. But, um, I, you know, it's interesting, my thoughts on, on China. The CCP wants China to be one of the preeminent powers in the world, and they're making a lot of moves to make that happen. They're yeah. uh, Belt and Road Initiative and um, putting a lot of foreign aid out there and building a lot of infrastructure in second and third world countries. And I kind of laugh about it. I think the reason that they're so frustrated with Taiwan is it's a perfect example of how the only thing holding the Chinese back is the Communist Chinese Party. It's yep. like if, if the rest of China were democratically run, there'd be no stopping them. You know, if they embraced capitalism and democracy, then China would inevitably become a huge world power. And well, it's I mean, only in the thing. incompetent management of <laughs> the, their political parties that's just, it's yeah. like. Yeah, well, in fairness, I mean, they're not the 800-pound the gorilla, but they're certainly the 650-pound gorilla. Oh, yeah. No, they've built a terrific economy, but it's a little bit like it would um, a lot bigger, yeah. 
so Russia's problem is their economic might is mostly built on providing raw yeah. materials and resources, energy, timber, mining. They don't have a lot of industrial... Uh, Manufacturing, yeah. Well, they can manufacture stuff, but not on a competitive world scale. Nobody's going out of their way to get Russian farm equipment. Nobody's going out of their way to buy Russian cars. Uh, you know, there's not a, a really top-end manufacturer of Russian hi-fi equipment, you know, for home stereo or home theaters. Um, and so they're kind of limited in what they can do, and if they have eventually run out of resources, which isn't likely to happen in our grandchildren's lifetimes, uh, then they'll, you know, it's the same problem of, you know, so what does Saudi Arabia do if they run out of oil? Um, China's problem is they do a really nice job of manufacturing things inexpensively, but they can't, well, they probably can consume a lot of their own goods, but most of the stuff they sell abroad, they have to sell cheaply, and they're limited because even though they're good at manufacturing, they're, they're at a technological disadvantage, and it affects them. They can't really compete without Western money coming in. Um, and both countries have to do a better job of scaling up their technology to try to get more competitive. Uh, did you get that? Uh, Crawler Slayer popped, yeah. Excuse me, yeah, here we go. Harbingers of Death. Here's some Dwarf Iron. Um, but like with Taiwan, you know, they're world leaders in chip fabrication. They're world leaders in injection molding. I'm told that nobody on earth can injection mold stuff the way the Taiwanese can. Um, and there's not much that China can do that India also can't do. Um... And in fact, when, when the previous administration started uh, putting embargoes and tariffs on China, a lot of uh, tech manufacturers started opening up assembly lines in India because they could get just as good of manufacturing at just as low of cost and not have to worry about the tariffs. Um, Vietnam, similar situation. They picked up a lot of manufacturing that moved from China to avoid tariffs. Um. Uh, would you like to try and pick the pockets of those trolls before I melt? You can't pick troll pockets. I'm like, why am I not attacking? I'm still on a horse. Nope, troll pockets are not pickable. Goblins, orcs, uh, human bandits, yes. Not, uh, not trolls. Well, in fairness, you on a hobbit, there's no pocket that a, a troll has got that you could reach. Not without climbing it. Prison pocket. Mm-hmm. That's about the only one. I didn't Nobody want to go there. Nobody wants but... to pick a troll's prison pocket, yeah. There's a Coke Zero in there, asks Mr. Christoph. It'd be too warm. So, yeah, I did, did something kind of funny that... I would mentioned it on the stream the other night about moving all of the uh, refrigerator magnets from one apartment to another. And all of the pictures that the magnets were holding up. And it kind of totally changed which apartment feels homier. Had a big impact on it. The other thing I did is I stopped off and bought a case of Coke Zero, and I put two six-packs in one fridge and two six-packs in the other fridge. 
So I'm literally in in two places. Now, are you still streaming from the old flat now, or have you moved? I'm still in the old flat from a streaming standpoint. I had the cable service switched on the first, and they never shut off the service at the old apartment, so oh. I've still got the computer desk over here. One of the challenges that we're facing is I have to clear lots and lots and lots and lots of little stuff up before I can start yeah. moving the big pieces, and it's just, like I said, we moved a mountain of Mrs. M's clothes today. And it wasn't all of it. There's still more to move. Six of six on trolls. So my solution, Mr. Kristoff, is to make sure that there's Coke Zero everywhere. And then I can't lose. Candace says, okay, I'm back, Bacchus. Please retell all of the stories and quotes you said while I was gone. <laughs> it was more uh, geopolitical analysis than anything else. Mm -hmm. I'll come back, Kenneth. Breaking down the economic challenges that uh, Russia and the Chinese face. But it's got to be embarrassing for the CCP to see how prosperous Taiwan is. I, I've got to think that's one of the reasons why they're so motivated to reunite Formosa with the rest of China. So they can go in and wreck it. Oh, braid certainly for a while. I think is there a deed? No, okay, nothing popped. <laughs> oh, are you thinking about talking to the guy about the necklace and the hinder no, list? The um, you know the usual find the runes kind of deed. Do we need a kill? Yes, we do. Six of six. I think we might uh, still need a couple of birds. Oh, we haven't hardly started on crawlers. Crawlers are to the south, Hendrival are to the north, so we need to decide which way we're going to go. It's 2023. We can go both ways. Oh. Wait, what are we talking about? Oh, Slayer Deeds. Uh, Let's go to yeah. the south. I think I was thinking of something oh. else. <laughs> We will go both ways, it's just which way would you like to go first? Singers here, I got distracted. <laughs> Ding, fries are done. <laughs> we need to kill more bears? No. Nope, we're good on bears. Always kill trolls because we need to kill Slayer another... Dude. Yep. 10,000? Uh, no, about 220. Garther says, if I recall correctly, bears and crawlers share spawns, so kill, kill, kill. Sage advice. And even if they don't share a spawn, we need leather from the bears for crafting, so... What tunes are you playing? Uh, we're on a couple of uh, low to mid level characters on Crick Hollow. I'm on my uh, alternate account I created for Free to Play Fridays last year. I'm on a 37th level burglar named Jasco. And Bacchus is on a couple of characters he created to try to help 
keep me out of trouble. I don't think I succeeded. No. Nope. Well, it's an impossible task. You did the best you mm. could, though. That was not a wolf. Nope, it was a bear. We need Four legs, focused. big teeth. No, yeah, they similar. You know, close enough to mistake them in the dark. Okay, fair enough. Ken has a minstrel. Well, if you want to hop on and join us, come join the fun. Yeah. We'll put up with your shenanigans for a little while. Can is always fun to hang out with. That is. Ah, there we go. I've probably never mentioned it before, Canna, but you're welcome to join us for shooty boats on Sundays, too. Good. Excuse me. Plus, Wild Card Wednesdays, the Wednesday night stream, we're going to start randomizing it. Maybe start it's doing really a few gonna, different things. It's really going to be Wild Card. Yeah. We'll start out kind of slow, because, like, if I put, like, StarCraft 2 in the mix, and then that came up, and nobody would have it installed, and I'd basically be playing by myself, which doesn't sound hella fun. Um, so this is the main wolf area. Oh, yes, I seem to recall there being a couple of dens, or a den, that's got quite a few trolls. Ugh, wolves in it. Yeah, this is it. You go. That should have completed crawlers for you. Five of six. How did I end up with one extra? I don't know. We were probably just spread out a little bit. Yeah. Solana says, shooty boats, laughing my butt off. I call Call of the Wild hunty shooty game. <laughs> there you go. Well, I think shooty boats is actually, I picked that up from some tech tubers. I was thinking at one time about expanding my YouTube presence and because uh, I thought, would I be a good tech tuber? I'm like, uh, I play World of Warships, check. And uh, I have an Asian wife, check. So, You're yeah, the I could Linus. probably be YouTube, yeah. Well, not just Linus. Paul from Paul's Hardware has a Filipino wife. Um Jay from Jay's Two Cents plays World of Warships. Gordon Mung from uh, PC World plays World of Warships. And how many of them can say they've got a South African buddy? All of them. Possibly. Yeah. We're all over the world these days. You guys aren't that unpopular ever since that whole apartheid thing fell apart. Yep. Well, let's be honest, we were fairly popular back then, just uh, people didn't admit to it. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> That's what happens when you're in a geopolitically important position. Well, nobody was very happy about... Uh, what was Patsy's last name, the actress they killed off in uh, Lethal Weapon 2? Oh, Kinsett. Yeah, she was quite fetching. Did not like seeing her drowned. Nothing bums guys out more than when a hot chick gets killed in a movie. Nope. But it offended, uh, what's his name, the Australian guy, so that was, it was worth it. Gibson. There we go. Ah, he's American. He just grew up in Australia. Yeah. You know he's Australian, or he's not Australian because most Australians aren't that anti-Semitic. Yep. No, that's about it. He's not on my Christmas card list, but you know the irony and yeah. Normally, Australians only poop on Aboriginals. Mm-hmm. Americans are horrible to every race, creed, and color.
equal opportunities. Although I suppose you could probably find Australians who are not kind towards uh, Southeast Asians. Uh, I think they're having a uh, little bit of not seeing eye to eye with the Chinese the last few years. Yeah. Actually, that got quiet. That's I'd more a government got... policy thing. Yeah. I remember there being fairly significant diplomatic spats going on and like the Chinese making threats. And then I think that might have something to do with why the uh, Australians went and cancelled their order for French submarines and went with British and French ones, uh, British and American ones instead. Well, that's hard to say. Our news coverage is so sporadic here. The U.S. press does a horrible job of covering anything international. They're very much convinced that we're the whole center of the universe and nothing that happens outside of our borders matters. To wait, oh, I, if... You mentioned mm -hmm. Linus Sebastian. They were on the WAN show talking last week. And he made the comment that to the rest of the world, everybody thinks Canada is just the United States hat. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so I thought it was a pretty good way of putting it. Well, if countries do succeed in moving away from the petrodollar, you'll see that that will have to change. You guys will have to start paying attention more to what the rest of the world is doing. Or, you know, more of the public will need to start paying attention. I mean, your government does. Oh, yeah, the government monitors it pretty well, but whether or not they have any effective policies to shape or positively affect it is a completely different question. Yeah. There should be a quest up here. We can go pick up. Well, if people drop the petrodollar, your ability to impose sanctions disappears, which is going to limit your peaceful options for... Yeah, and our current administration seems oblivious to the importance of that and many other things. Yeah. Well, the, everybody's reliance on the petrodollar is pretty unfair to everybody else. It causes a share of problems on top of, you know, being not always a bad thing. Well, I, you know, it seemed like 30, 40 years ago, America was truly doing the right things for the right reasons. And somehow over the last 40 years, American forward policy has just degraded into what can we do to help American corporations stay on top and compete unfairly on the world stage? so that they can keep paying our politicians. There's just not a lot of interest in doing anything for the common good in this country anymore. Well, uh, there was that legislation, bipartisan legislation that was proposed the other day that would ban either senators or congressmen, or maybe even both, from uh, owning stock for the duration of their uh, of their uh, appointment, which I think would be certainly not bad. Because, yeah, you can track certain very prominent American pop politicians' stock trades, and they, they seem very, very, very good at picking, you know, just the right time to sell stuff. Oh, to yeah, buy. and it's, it's more than that. I mean... One of the reasons why the U.S. is so deeply involved in the Ukraine conflict is because of how much money, you know, various families were making over there for no reason. The influence peddling and the backroom yeah. deals and... Uh, we still need Hendrickel. Okay, oh, we're in the right to the north, area. Yeah. yeah, we'll find them. Sir Waffle says, but everyone knows that bill will never pass in a million years, exactly. Much like yeah, term I... limits for congressmen and senators, much like, yeah. Which is unfortunate. That would do a lot for like bringing honesty to politics. 
Eh, no, it wouldn't. They'd just find a different way. Oh, true. Well, if you don't close the loopholes or whatever, ever, then things are definitely not going to improve. And when they open the next one or start exploiting the next one, close that one too. But I'm that would rely on the political. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, I'm a big fan of term limits. I think our founding fathers would have been disgusted at the notion of a career politician. You want to serve, get in and serve, and then get out. Let somebody yep. else come in and serve. You can have 10, 12 years, whatever, and then go. Keanu wants to vote for RFK Jr. I think there are certainly worse choices. Uh, uh, we're heading out to the area where we can find Hendrival. Ah, here's one. we got to be about done with the Hendrival, don't we? We just got through four. Of them. There we go. Six, six of six. six. Okay. Right. Yeah, I think we, we just have bear little... blankets to turn into the dwarves. We can go to town, get the stable master, turn in the bear bear hides. Oh, yep. Just down to the southeast a little bit. Southwest, sorry. Why am I getting east and west mixed up tonight? I don't know. Did you hit your head or something? Uh, I did have a migraine the last two days. Maybe something popped in there. I've heard that if you have a severe heart attack and you're medically sedated for a couple of weeks, it can be disorienting. Uh, entirely possible. Yeah. Would seem reasonable and likely. Kiana says, did you say level 36? Yeah, I'm level 37, but uh, Bacchus is yeah. 35 and 36. 35 and 36, yeah. I might spend a little bit of time and run these two through a skirmish or two to catch up. Antler says, all right, you folks, I'm off to bed. What can I do for you? Good Make sure you get up early so you can work hard and pay for that new computer. And congratulations, I'm glad it arrived and I'm glad that you are thrilled with it. You yeah, you uh, got quite a decent deal on that. Yeah, I need to start an OnlyFans or something, or start streaming more regularly so I can get people to donate money so I can pay for all the hardware that I just bought myself. If you want to do some uh, guest streaming on my OnlyFans page, maybe do a couple of shower shows or something, I can split yeah, the revenue can, with you. Yeah, we can talk about a revenue split. Sort of. Okay. Uh, how much are you going to pay me to do that? I don't know. I It's... Hard to even guess how much revenue's coming in with Hard Hit not hanging out like he used to. My revenue's down yeah. about a hundred percent. He was my That's only only fan subscriber, so I got to do something to generate new views. Uh, the kind of people you'd pay to watch me take my clothes off, not necessarily the kind of people you want to, like hanging around your channel. Well, they'd pay to have you put your clothes back on. I figure that's going to be the big money maker. Actually, yeah, that is... Well, I'd certainly make money singing like that. People <laughs> would pay me money to shut the hell shut up, up and go yeah. somewhere else. Uh, you just ran past some... I oh, know you are at the Platinum. I'm at the Platinum. I had to get rid of that bird first. Bird is the word. Bow, 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 bow. I'm sure a lot of drugs were consumed while, uh, while writing that song. Or Could a be. lot of drugs had been consumed. I was worried they were over here eating that uh, dwarf iron deposit. Dwarf iron, yeah. We 
need to go back along. Wait, like we've missed a quest. Which that quest? Old trampling Hooves one. Oh, I ain't worried about it. You know what I am worried about is making sure we get our fishing done. There's that fishing pole icon. Forty-three of two hundred. Remember, if you're not fishing Middle Earth, you're not truly exploring Middle Earth. Kiana says, I'm going to try and get a hold of HH. You should do that. Oh, 44. I haven't heard anything else about that, so whatever's going on there, who knows. Uh, level 30, Taliana? Okay, I'll actually, I'm the... Yeah, we had a conference call today, and while we were waiting for the boss to show up, they were telling dad jokes. Made me miss hard hit. Like, uh, hard hit loves dad jokes. <laughs> right. So I have two perch and a brown trout already. I don't have anything remotely like that. Is your fishing skill at least 50? Nope. Uh, 44 plus whatever my pole is giving me. Well, you're pretty close to starting to catch trout. You just need a point or two. Um, Guessing you got a plus 3U fishing pole? No, I've got a basic. Oh. I need to, need to level up my hunter and or level up his uh, crafting. But he should be able to make you fine, I think, maybe. Yeah. Where are you at? Got any summons? We're out in the troll shaws. We well, actually might be in an area that's a little too high a level for you. Yeah, you may end up having to go back a bit. North Downs or... Can you get to Ostgaruth, uh, Kana? Maybe we can meet you there. I know you're anxious to get out here and get in on this hot, red hot fishing action. Oh, we can fish in Oscarith as well. There's ponds around there. Yeah, that's a good fishing area, actually. Canna's round about to uh, Trestlebridge or so. You can pop into voice chat if you're ready, Canna. You should have permission. I got a golden mullet. What? Jealous? Thought so. Always. Followed by perfect perch. You're on a roll. Oh yeah, super excited about that. 
This is my excited face. <laughs> Canablick, go to Ostkaruth. Ginger says, have fun. I need to go to bed. Ginger, have a good night. Thanks for hanging out with us. Bye, Ginger. Oof. It's not even that late. That's what, 2300-ish for you? Yeah, I figured if I drank that venom first, I'd be nice and peppy, but only so much caffeine oh. can do. Yeah, sometimes you have a paradoxical response to it as well. Instead of being sympathomimetic, it becomes parasympathetic. Uh, blah, 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 whatever. It's easy for you to say. Uh, yes. <laughs> Paris then I can never do that. Yeah. Paris and pathetic I mean, yeah. I always get triggered tripping over my letters halfway through that word. Paris and pathomimetic. There we go. The third time lucky. Alright, good night, Mr. Christoph. Take care, Mr. Kristoff. Hopefully I'll see you at the flying field soon. Ah, uh, fishing of 45. I bought a case of glow fuel, so I need to get some uh, nitro planes out and get some motors running, literally. We talked about doing a, a bulk fuel buy through the local hobby town, and I'd kind of forgotten about it, and they sent an email out going, oh yeah, the fuel's here. And then I went out to training night last night, and the club secretary was like, yeah, everybody picked up all their fuel from Hobbytown except for one case. And I'm like, oh, I'm the one guy who didn't pick up his fuel. So I went out and bought it last night on my way home. I think before I even went and got tacos. I got a perch. It's my third perch. I've gotten about six gold pieces worth of fish so far. Very, very nice. <sighs> Speaking of expensive hobbies, I dropped pictures of what I dropped the money on in the, uh, the Discord. Nice. Still waiting to hear back from Kiana if he can get to Ostkaruth or not. We'd be happy to come pick uh, you up, buddy. I think he's heading towards, looking at the map, he's heading towards, um, uh, what you call that place? Estelden. <coughs> I would imagine to catch a taxi service. But we can head that way in the meantime if you want. Well, I do have a summoning horn. Uh, what level are the mobs around here? Yeah, no, it's, it's within the, the level bracket. The low end of the level bracket, but yeah. Well, running around with us, we'll be able to make up yeah. the difference. And I can raise if need be. We need to put down the dying. Ah, 
around is more trolls that we need to. Uh... I think these trolls have significantly more health. Uh, that was still good. Okay. Either that or I just got monster crits. I'm sure that's what it is. You're just such a bad mamma jam, there's no stopping you. <laughs> right, I'll let you go stab that one in the kneecap. Okay. So that you can feel useful and like you're making a contribution. Thank you. Indeed, the ruins of Trollshows. on trolls. Well, there's always more for the slayer eat. Well, we can also go back and work on uh, worms and bears. Mm -hmm. uh, should we summon Mr. Uh, uh, Canna? Canna or... Yeah, I can give it a try. Canna, you ready for a summons? So we can hear everybody except Cannon. <laughs> That's okay. I'm sure he's getting it sorted out. Windows and headsets are not easy to navigate. Which I don't know if my nephew ever started using the Logitech headset I gave him. And Logitech used to make very, very nice kit. Nowadays, I'm not so sure. Oh, here's Cannon. Yay! Oh, well, given that he's the most squishy, do I have? Do not fall. I don't appear to have that. Huh. Maybe you just haven't gotten I... it yet? Yeah. to do an inventory clean up. My bags are starting to look like yours. Well, that is bad. Headshot. Boom. Nice. Ah, there's a stable monster up here that we can grab. Mm-hmm.
Hail friend and well met. I am just excited for Canna. It's got to be a thrill to be able to hang out with us. Does this game have four or five man groups? In terms of instance groups, uh, you start at three and then it goes to six, twelve. Do you get 24 man raids? I think yeah, you there get are 24 man. man raids. There's not a lot of them, but they do have a couple. There's a lot of stuff you uh, can do with four or five people, but uh, the group is up to six for full fellowship. Yeah. This is a pain in the tuchus also. Oh, well, we're killing mobs that we're going to have to come back and kill again when we get the quest, wherever it might be. I think it's at that other... Well, there's a Slayer deed for the undead, and it's it's yeah. at least as big of a grind as the one for the wolves. Oh, here's more stone crawlers to kill. There's a Slayer Deed for these, so there's no reason to not take that quest. Yep. Although the problem is you end up running into a lot of these rats and not a lot of the crawlers out here. It takes a while to find enough of them. Um, well, Rados, uh, which MMO were you playing previously? Lotra certainly is an option. The great strength of Lotra is more the uh, storytelling side of things, but there is plenty of group play as well. And there's a staggering amount of content in this game. Uh, it's a wonderful realization of Middle Earth, too. If you're fans of Tolkien at all, it's well worth playing, yeah. whether books or movies. There's a lot of very faithfully reproduced areas that frankly are shown off better in the game than they were in the books or the movies. Yeah, Moria uh, is very impressive in the game. It's pretty fantastic. Edoras and the Mead Hall Metaseld, um, Dol Amrith. And Tirith. It's fantastic. Minas Ethel. Oh. Now you you're just making up words. <laughs> the game still being actively developed for we're expecting another expansion in the fall um, yeah, okay. they drop new content all the time uh, a lot of us have been playing for a really long time the game celebrating its 16th anniversary or is the anniversary event over now uh, I think it's still going on. Okay. Yeah, they, we're celebrating the 16th me. anniversary yeah. of the game, but it looks great, it plays great. You get a little server lag from time to time, but it's nothing game-breaking. Um, um, that has been better recently. Yeah, but very friendly for three to six people to play together. Bacchus and I have a regular Wednesday night group we play with, and we went through and did all of the group content uh, we started out first level, and we've played all the way up to level cap, 140th together. And uh, it's been a lot of fun. There's a lot to see and do. It's a huge game world. Oh, Elder Scrolls and STO. Okay. Uh, neither of which I'm actually all that familiar with. Elder Scrolls, I think, is more of an action, uh, action RPG game. In terms the of the, the, the play style, this is yeah, the wrong way. I thought you went back down, so I'm coming back oh, up to okay. you. Um, yeah, in terms of the play style, Lotro is very, very similar to um, like World of Warcraft or the Old Republic. Tab targeting, uh, hotkeys, and that kind of thing. Star Trek Online, I'm not too sure. Never played that. Oop. 
Speaking of lag, there's a bit of a bit. spike there. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Well, we're on Crick Hollow this evening. Uh, otherwise, we typically play on Evernight on a Wednesday, but that we are going to be changing up in the near future. Congratulations, Kenna. You want to pickpockets and so on before we set things on fire? No, oh, it's not a big deal. If I see somebody whose pockets need picked, I'll call it out. Uh, we play on both kinds of servers. We're on an EU server tonight. Or no, we're on a, a US uh, server US tonight. Server. We do play on Evernight quite a bit, which is a UK yeah. or a U EU server. But they're all located in the East Coast in the US. Doesn't really matter from a server quality standpoint, if that makes any sense. I think they were talking about moving the EU servers back to the EU, or wanting to. I don't know if that has got a firm plan attached to it. Or I seem to recall there being mention of that. I don't know if that's actually the case. Yeah, I imagine it's expensive and, you know, I think it would be, like, nice to do, but yeah, I'm sure there's bigger priorities. Lost Temple, Forbidden Temple, what's this called? Uh, I have no idea. Now that you mention it, I remember there is a uh, instance here. I think we got to unlock it. Yeah. Your level is too low. Shield Maiden. Hi, Hotstitute.
All right, 10 of 10 on uh, Corker. Hold well on. Again, this is my excited face. <laughs> uh, nine and Rivendell. Nothing wrong with that. That's a couple of Lotro points. Yep, Rados, NA, East, you're definitely going to want to look at one of the US servers. Uh, Crick, Gladden, well, Crick Hollow, Gladden, Arkenstone. Uh, what are the other American ones? I think those are the big ones. Brandy Wine. Uh, which is the... Brandy is the, the, the roleplay server, isn't it? Or where the no, uh, Laurelin. Laurel. I think Landerville is role play encouraged and Laurelin is role playing. Uh nope. PTR is its own thing. That's um Bullroarer. And for the really fancy PTR, it's uh, Palantir. There Sorry, did you want to pick pockets or something? No, you can't pick the undead Good. either. I'm starting to doze a little bit, but I didn't want to not hang out with Kana, even though he's not talking in chat. Yeah, we must Kana. The, the, the world is a colder, less pleasant place without having chat with us. special to get invited to Palantir. I'm special. I'm special ed. They should totally have me invited over there. Yep. Well, if there's something they need to find a way to break, I'm sure you would be the one to do it. If you ask me, I'd be quick to tell you I'm a big deal. That you are. I think I'm in yellow line anyway. I'm not even set up to pick pockets right now. I mean, I guess I could. I'll go pick somebody's pocket. Still got uh, some I pack just... space. I keep killing things and then see we're moving in that direction. I go, Ooh, sorry. Nope, not a big deal. I'd have already yelled at you if it was a problem. Mm. Damn it, Bacchus! <laughs> I was getting my hair cut the other day and I told the uh, stylist, I'm like, yeah, don't worry, go ahead and cut it. I've never complained about having a haircut too short before. It's like, okay, good to know. And she's cutting my hair and I told her, I said, yeah, for a minute I was thinking it might be funny for me to go, what are you doing? It's too short, just to scare you. And I'm like, then I thought better of, you know, yelling out loud at somebody who's holding scissors close to my head. And she started laughing. Uh, Rados, yep. But not tonight. We're on Crick Hollow tonight. The uh, Evernight's one of the other servers we play on. I and failed something... to burgle and he turned on me? Well, I hope you made him pay for that. 
I did. Uh, Rado, something to keep in mind. It's a minor issue, but as much as the uh, the servers are all in the same data center in Boston, the EU servers and NA servers are architecturally different, and there's no transfers between. Unfortunately. Rob. So what happens? Yeah. Yeah, I was going to pick his pocket too, but you killed him. Well, my bad. Sorry, I'll let you pick the next one. All right. Okay. See, what happens in Vegas and what happens in Amsterdam stays respectively in Vegas and Amsterdam. Okay, this dude on the platform, I'm going to go pick his pocket. You go pick his pocket. I'll try not to light him on one. fire till I get that done, please. I will try to restrain myself. Thank you. I think I failed to burgle again. Hello, can I? Can. Can. Well, let me see if I can pick this dude's pocket. Don't light him on fire. I was just about to hit him with an instant cost. <laughs> I know. I burgled a halberd of might. Well done. Yeah, if you only we knew the captain. Hello. Hey, Canna, Canna we can hear you. How are you, buddy? Hello. Maybe he can't hear us. I can hear you. Oh, okay. There you go. So how are you doing this evening, Kenneth? <laughs> Egarth asks, can I talk in Amsterdam about the stuff you did in Vegas? No. It stays there. Stuff that happens in Vegas definitely cannot be talked about in Amsterdam. That's just bad precedent. I mean, the Hague is right there. Maybe come back through here on my hunter. As in, I'd ever night on my main and finish up all these deeds. There's a lot to finish. Yep. Ooh. If you want to come out here and kill uh, wolves, I'll put you on follow and wander around behind you. Uh, Rem was actually wanting to do that this evening. He wants to do deeds. Oh. Or, that's... Maybe he's trying to get Lotro points so he can get Gundabad. I don't think yeah. he has any concept of how many deeds he'd have to do. Uh, well, uh, Kondoom is kind of within reach for him. Uh, that's 1,500. That's a lot of deeding, but it's not the two and a half times as much as he needs for, for Gundabad. Gundabad's only 2,500, I think. Uh, I think 29. Maybe twenty nine ninety five. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think it's 3k. How much is it to buy Gundabek? Cash? Yeah. I have no idea. Yeah, you tend to not do that. Let me... Let me, let me 20 bucks? I don't know. 50 bucks? That's well, probably 30 or 40. Let me have a look. Uh, why am I firing up a Lutro client? I need to look on their web store. I don't know what the hell you're thinking most of the time. Yeah. Uh... Do 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 do. bed, now available. Blah 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 blah. Don't tell me now available. Tell me how much. That worm had to die, he was standing too close to this ore. Okay, before the shadow. Any good web pages for builds and class guides? Uh, I'll leave it to chat to make some recommendations. One thing I will say, Ray, is this is a fantastic resource that you've strumbled, stumbled onto. Lotro Stream is the official channel for Standing Stone Games for Lord of the Rings Online. They're the developers. <coughs> Most of the people who stream here are guest streamers. Um, Cordovan, the community manager, does stream on Fridays at noon. Excuse me. But uh, there's a lot of really good, knowledgeable players that not only stream here, but also hang out here and chat. So if you do decide to give Lotro a try, it's got a great free-to-play model. You don't have to spend a nickel to try out the game and make sure that it's a good RPG for you to try. Uh, although there's certainly a lot of benefits to subscribing if you decide to do that in the future. But uh, there's always a lot of helpful, knowledgeable players here in chat on this channel. and uh, They're very friendly, happy to answer questions, and uh, they can... The Egoth that demonstrates. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for the answer, Egg. I do appreciate you looking that up for me. With regard to uh, builds and class guides, um, I, all of the classes are viable. None of them are a waste of time or energy. Um, and the way the trait trees are set up, it's it's pretty hard to make any serious mistakes. You know, they, I don't know. They, they are... <clears throat> Sorry, carry on. Oh, I was just going to say, I don't know that you need to worry too much about build and class guides, but... Mm -hmm. I'm sure there are some out there. Uh, what's the website that we all use? Although I think it might be a little bit out of date now. Uh, Lotra HQ. Oh, there you go. Uh, yeah, that's got some very good guides, but they are actually busy with a class rework at the moment. They're working their way through it. They've done Menstrual, Warden. Who did they do? Captain. I think Guardian is next. Yay! Kane is excited about the Guardian update. Evidently so. Needs to be. Yeah, yellow line is going away as a uh, selectable tree. Or as a spec, rather. You can still obviously spec into yellow, but... Uh... For, for starter classes, Ray, I normally recommend Champion, Hunter, or Guardian. Um, Warden is a lot of fun to play, but it's the Gambit system yeah. makes it a little more complicated. Um, it's almost like a fighting game where you have to pull off combos and stuff. It's not hard to do, but it just takes a little bit more of a learning curve. Um, and I think it's good to have the game mechanics down before you start... You know, playing uh, any of the light armor classes, uh, minstrel, runekeeper, lore master. 
they're fun classes, but you need to have a pretty good grasp of the mechanics before you want to start playing something that squishy. Lawmaster gets complicated as well, or it's got a lot of buttons that you can press, is what I'm finding. Uh, it's very, very simple, right up until about level 45, 50, and then suddenly it's like, oh my god, I've got so many buttons. <laughs> Hotstitute says, or just play Lore Master Day 1. You could yeah, also do that, yeah. Well, um, yeah, Rados has previous... Uh, MMORPG experience, so it might not be as steep of a learning curve. I think he was also saying he has played Lotra before, just long ago. Long time ago, yeah. Well, some things remain true. Uh, Hunter class, best class. Some of my favorite hunter characters are hunter class. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, no. Champion's a very, very popular AoE DPS class. It pretty much is the DPS class. When I say hunter class, best class, I, I mean that more from a landscape, general sort of gameplay uh, point of view. Uh, they're very, very successful in raids, but uh, single target, I think. But, you know, the reason I love hunter so much is the um, travel skills, uh, leafy feet, that kind of thing. Uh, and you have a crush on Vigo Morganson and want to be a ranger? Uh, that too. I do keep hoping they're going to announce a ranger class, which is sort of a stealth, stealth range class. A little bit of burglar, a little bit of hunter. That that sounds like it would be fun. No champion won't hold you back at all. Champions are quite in demand. And they're a lot of fun to play. Champion is a good class. Uh, Alright, my minimap has bugged out, and you are nowhere near where your dot is for me. Okay, you're off to our southwest. I'm running to where it said you were. Uh, yeah, you're... Quite a long way away from us. Well, yellow spec won't be going away for champions, for instance. That's the Xing Xing spec, where it's mostly AoE damage. Yeah, if champ is going to lose a spec, it'll be blue line. All right, there we go. It's updated now. Uh, hostage shit is right. It seems if they're gonna delete a spec, it's been yellow. How many times? It's what two, three times they've now removed yellow line specs. Yeah, I don't know. I don't pay that much attention. Or specialization. Yellow line burglar. Yeah. Yeah. 
Ooh, now, it's very really accurate to say they removed the spec, because you can still put your points into a yellow tree. It's just... the flies um killing it anyway because it's there and they're annoying i know Meh. well if we head a little bit further west we do have a uh, quest objective there that uh yep. trampling rooms one sure do. actually let's see if we can share that taliana not eligible okay Got one for this too. Uh, are you getting the kill quests for these? Um, mm -hmm. Ah, there we go. Yeah, he should be. So, so you must just remember to kill the pigs and so on as we see them. Garther says Brawler started with no yellow specialization. That kind of started the trend. Sir Waffle says the colors have lent themselves to being blue defense, red offense, yellow utility. So it sort of makes sense to turn yellow, most yellow specs into something more that can be augment the other two specs. El Galadwin rating. Hello, El Galadwin, and hello, everybody rating. But I have a bone to pick with you. If you're raiding me, how am I supposed to raid you later? <laughs> you're supposed to stay up late on Friday, so I've got somebody to throw the stream to. <coughs> Not angry. I'm just disappointed. And angry. Uh, well, if you want a quest objective, it's up here by the end. Okay. And hopefully that will assuage your anger and disappointment. It's mostly a very kind of uh, low-key blind rage. I was just saying, hopefully he's not about to end. I'm a little, little sleepy, but I was going to go at least another six minutes. I wanted to get to the two and a half hour mark. For no particular reason. Yeah, it's nice to reach like round numbers like that. Well, a lot of times at midnight, my stream's been breaking. Last week, it for got sure. cut off right before I ended, and it was like, oh, come on. Does your ISP maybe do something funny? Probably. At midnight, like switch over, like reboot the server or something. Probably. All right. We need to kill more of these for the uh, follow-on. He was just yawning. I'm doing more than yawning. I'm starting to nod a little bit, and I've had a 
I've had a little bit of caffeine so far tonight, too. There's a dark wing spy out here? That must be an angle creature. Uh, yep. <clears throat> We've nudged on into the angle. Okay. Well, that's not going to help Canna. <laughs> uh, might help him meet his maker, given he's nine levels under. And liable to aggro them from halfway across the map. Wait, was that not a Coke Zero? I do drink uh, Venom Energy drinks from time to time. This is strawberry and apple. This was 52 ounces of Coke Zero, though. And I have more Coke Zero in the fridge. Don't worry, I've been getting my daily recommended supply of Coke Zero. Uh, the daily recommended amount is zero, Ed. <laughs> exactly. That's bad Coke, for you. Coke Zero. If Coke Zero were bad for me, I'd already be dead. <laughs> the fact that I am alive proves that Coke Zero is good for you. Uh, so I can say the same about whiskey, then. Exactly. And maybe cigarettes, too. Although it's been a while since I had one of those. There you go. Actually, f first of July will be four years since my last cigarette. Well, that's good. Yeah. It's a lot of money I haven't spent on setting things on fire. Plus, I bought Altria stock for my niece and nephew's portfolios in their custodial accounts. So, mm -hmm. I don't recommend smoking, but if you're going to smoke, boys and girls, smoke Marlboro. <laughs> Very much enjoy those tobacco dividends. Oh I used to smoke Marlboro. Marlboro likes. Ugh. Marlboro Blue. I think those were the light ones that I was smoking. Good on ya. Although, oh. Philip Morris split their uh, domestic and international divisions. So that was probably Philip Morris whose coffers you were filling instead of Altria. Yeah. Altria was spun off. Well, I contributed to your your, like, niece and nephew's retirement funds in, you know, uh, so in spirit, if not in actuality. All right. It still counts, kind of. I think when I opened those accounts, it was Altria. Uh, there was a, a real estate investment trust called Annaly uh, that mostly invested in commercial real estate on the East Coast, Bristol Myers Squibb, and... Uh, an energy uh, utility in the northeast U.S. called uh, Consolidated Edison. The focus was on very stable dividend producing stocks. I bought them, held them, and reinvested the dividends and did quite well. That's always good. And do you think my bonehead nephew used that money to go to college? No. Actually, he hasn't touched it. It's still sitting there, so... Oh, there's still a chance. Yep. Or, uh, he can spend it on fast women and fast cars. You never know. Best advice to anybody who comes into a little nest egg when you're 19 to 21 years old... Save it. There, well, you can save it, but if you have to spend it, there are two things that you can spend that money on that they can never take away from you that you'll never lose. That is, education is preferential. Uh, and the second is travel, which is basically a type of education. Yeah. If, if you come into a little inheritance, if you get a few thousand dollars, you don't want to go to college, get out and travel a little bit. See the world. Do it while you're young, while you're unattached, while you don't have a mortgage, while you don't have kids at home. Uh, it just, it, 
expands the mind. It's a good thing to do. Um, the worst thing is buy a car. Thank all cars are expensive. Them. All cars are a waste of money. All cars will just bleed you. And to my nephew's credit, even though he's been having car trouble, he hasn't tried tapping into his savings. So that's a good thing. There's always more mon more things to spend money on than there's money to spend. Ponton Finberry checking in. Hello, Ponton. That's the dude says, and the third is scotch. <laughs> I don't necessarily disagree, but, uh, you know, <clears throat> scotch tends to not last. But well, a friend is. of mine used to be fond of saying that when he was younger, he spent all of his money on women and booze, and the rest of it he wasted, so. Yep. <laughs> yep. Scotch is proof that God loves us and wants us to be happy. Yeah, your mileage may vary, but I couldn't really refute his saying that, so. Ponton says, I don't drive ever, so no car for me. Well, you're better off because of it. Driving makes you hate people. Well, if I ever do win that lottery and buy Donnie his uh, his laptop or whatever it is, I'll ask me uh, buying a plane ticket, and I'll come over and visit you guys and buy a motorbike. Nice awesome. triumph. And yeah, I'll uh, spend a year or so just traveling around the states. That's definitely it'll never happen unless I win the lottery. But that's the bucket list for me. Start up north. Head down to Florida, head west along the south to like Cali, head up to Washington, and then back through like Wyoming and the Dakotas and so on. It's a beautiful country. It's amazingly yeah. diverse, and there's so much thousands yeah. of incredible things to see. Yeah. El Galadwin says, yes, we welcome you to the Pacific Northwest. Man, I remember the first time I flew into Seattle from Nebraska. It was like, oh my gosh. You come flying in and you're coming in over the water and you look down at all the forests and the hills and it's just, just it gorgeous. Pretty. Yeah. Well, hold thumbs I win that lottery then, please. <laughs> Well, and then you see pictures of, like, Yosemite and, and Yellowstone, and you're like, that can't possibly be real. Where's that at? And it's like, oh, that's a few states away. What can I do for you? Ooh. you spend there might even be parts of Nebraska that don't totally suck. Well, it sounds like... Uh, oh, you've got some uh, can is from Kentucky, Ray Doss. It's hard to tell. Canna's accent's a bit sophisticated. A lot of people think he's from Essex in the UK, but uh, no, he's actually a Kentuckian as well. Say hi to Ray Doss. He's a fellow Kentuckian, Canna. Hey. There you go. It's important that we get you to talk on chat so that Texans can learn how to properly speak. Well, they need to uh, be taught how to barbecue, too. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you just uh, declared war. and uh, yeah, it was, it was No, nice Ken is absolutely yeah. right. I mean, Texans do a lot of things right. They, they're into dry rubs. They don't like heavy sauces. But beef is an also-ran. If you're not barbecuing pork, you're missing the whole point. I don't know. Beef brisket beats everything. No, it doesn't beat... St. Louis style spare ribs. Are you nuts? Brisket's good. Don't get me wrong. I like brisket. I even like beef ribs, but 
A St. Louis style spare rib is a thing of magnificent beauty. It is the best barbecue. Well, too bad you can't come down here the next week because I'm fixing to make a rack. Of spare ribs? Yep. Okay. Put them on my Weber grill. Indirect heat with wood chunks for about six hours. They'll be nice. falling off the bone. That, that sounds, sounds terrific, yeah. Not my first rodeo. Nope. All right. This is going to do it for me. I'm going to go ahead and call it a stream, guys. Thank you to Canna and to Bacchus for joining me. Uh, yeah, always more fun to play with friends. If you don't have any friends, I highly recommend you make some. Well, he hold on. He can't come down, but I can. <laughs> yeah. Radoss wants an invite. He wants to get hooked up on some ribs. Uh, let's see who else is streaming that we can go say hi to. I appreciate uh, you guys uh, having me, and uh, I'll get I'll get this tune caught up to you guys. You're you're fine. You're within range. We're glad to have you, Canna. It's no, always fun no, to play. I need to be able to, I need to, be able to heal better. Fun. Oh, you did fine. As long as we're on landscape, it's not a big deal anyway. Well, I mean, eventually uh, you're gonna run in. We're gonna run into shit. Yep. Yeah, it'd be nice to be able to run some three mans and stuff and have a healer. I ain't gonna mm -hmm. fib, but. Yep. You can always do DPS and we can have the room keeper heal. That works too. Okay. So. So I worked on leveling up. her up and getting all my traits and everything. All right. Let me see if we actually have any other Lotro players streaming. Man, I hate to think that I'm the best we could come up with tonight. Um. <laughs> It's like, man, there's got to be a good Lotro streamer on. It can't just be me. Uh, let me get the old man reading glasses on. Where did I put them? Nothing worse than not knowing where you set your reading glasses down. I never thought I'd be the old guy who walks around wearing them on top of my head, and I do that all day at work now. It's like, all right. Um, first time streaming Lotro, the Ezekiel King. Uh, Mythic Mark, it's my birthday. I'm over Stop. half a century. Uh, t -t 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 Quest in 11, leveling. Shanino Cage. New Lotro account, level grinding. Kaladoc. So we got four other Lotro streamers to pick from. I'm a bit of a sucker, so Mythic Mark, let's go make his birthday with a raid, everybody. Or is it Mystic? Yeah, I should probably know the proper name before I mess up and end up trying to raid a channel that doesn't exist. Mythic with a K. Mythic Mark. Let's go raid Mythic Mark. You certainly just, you could go say hi to Ezekiel King. Uh, I'm glad to see there's a bunch of new streamers that I haven't met yet. We love supporting fellow Lotro streamers. So, Mythic Mark. Let's go say hi to Mythic Mark. Have a great weekend, everybody. I should be around streaming on my channel tomorrow night and uh, probably doing some shooty boats on Sunday. Come by and say hi, and uh, we'll catch y'all later. I'd like a plan. Thank you, Ed, and take care, everybody. Has been fun. I'm going to go over tomorrow, say hi, and then... Wait, what?